Virginia Democrats' plans to enact a sweeping series of gun measures have already fired a rebellion in dozens of counties. Now, armed gun rights supporters from across the country, including some from the far right, are planning to sweep into Richmond on Martin Luther King Day. Organizers insist that they are trying to avoid the kind of deadly chaos that swept Charlottesville in the summer of 2017. Yeah, in Charlottesville, that was a Nazi fest. It was pretty bad. So we had no part in that. We, for good reason, we, we knew it was going to be a Nazi fest. So hopefully that won't be the case here. This is just average Virginians and average American gun owners coming out to support them. On YouTube, a Georgia militia called the 3% Security Force claims the governor has already mobilized the National Guard. The Virginia Citizens Defense League is organizing the rally, and its president is urging protesters to bring only their legal concealed handguns and to leave their rifles, body armor, and camouflage behind. Is there anybody that you don't want to come that is not invited? If they Look, this is, it's a public thing. We have no control. Van Cleve has been meeting with the Capitol Police in hopes of heading off trouble. In Washington, Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9. Meetings like this are happening across the Commonwealth of Virginia. Citizens concerned about gun restrictions coming from the state's newly empowered Democrats are taking action to protect their Second Amendment rights. It is sad that here in Virginia it has come to this with the great history of our state. It was a Virginian, James Madison, who wrote the Second Amendment. But the 1,500 people who showed up to this Shenandoah Valley meeting want their local leaders to declare their county a Second Amendment sanctuary. That's because they fear law-abiding gun owners will soon find themselves on the wrong side of the law. We're actually going to be a sanctuary county, unlike your sanctuary cities that are literally violating federal laws where we're just trying to protect people's rights. The resolution says certain legislation that has been introduced in the Virginia General Assembly and has or may be introduced in the United States Congress could have the effect of infringing on the rights of law-abiding citizens to keep and bear arms. Public funds of the county shall not be used to aid in the unnecessary or unconstitutional restriction of the rights under the Second Amendment. Tim Carter is the local sheriff and president of the Virginia Sheriff's Association. I do think it does send a message to Richmond that uh, rural counties feel like that their voice needs to be heard. More than 100 of Virginia's 133 localities have passed similar measures. During the last election cycle, millions poured in from out-of-state groups to buy campaign ads hostile to gun rights. And what we immediately saw from that was payback. We saw that we got New York style anti-assault weapon type of bills proposed, pre-filed. He's referring to bills that would ban many commonly used sporting rifles, controversial red flag laws, and legislation to restrict gun purchases, among others. Folks, I will never, ever render my weapon. Rural citizens are organizing against the coming wave. The Second Amendment was not put in for hunting, as some people like to say. It was put in to defend against a tyrannical government. Gun legislation is nothing more than a feel-good, politically motivated measure that won't fix the root causes of gun violence. In this massive crowd, there was but one dissenter. I can't help but think that the concept of anarchy might be closer to reality than we'd like to think. In a statement, Republican Congressman Ben Klein writes, your God-given liberties cannot be taken away by the actions of men. They can only be suppressed, speak loudly and with one voice. Sir, Virginia Democrats in Congress have suggested the state cut off funding to sheriffs who don't enforce future laws. They've also floated the idea of having the governor call in the National Guard. The ordeal has fired up Trump supporters. We have Trump fans coming from everywhere, uh, and, and, and for some for the first time, they say you know that, that they really want to, to vote Republican. Some folks took the chance to publicly vent about Washington. You know, I was not appreciative of our last president, but I never did any of that garbage that they're doing. I let him do his job, whether I liked it or not. He did it. He left. It's someone else's turn. Get out of the way. Let our president do his job. 
There are questions about how far localities could go to defy state law, but these citizens want as many protections as possible. After all, constitutional challenges often take years to get resolved in court. I think they've woken a sleeping giant in the whole state. And as Democrats continue to push gun restrictions on a national level, we may see more and more Americans in rural communities just like this taking a stand. In the Senate of the United States, for an outright ban, picking up every one of them, oh, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in, I would have done it. When they give us that inch, that bump stock ban, we will take a mile. You've heard people say, You'll have to pry my Tyrant. gun from my time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We have introduced an assault weapons ban. I'm talking about a ban on assault rifles. If you listen uh, real close, defense you rifles. can hear the people in power shaking. What's up, Hitler? You have to simply have a, a catchy ad on a Monday and then only do it every Monday. We need to oh, do the this propaganda? every day of the week brainwash and them, just right? really brainwash people into oh, thinking yeah, yeah, yeah. about guns in a vastly different way. Enough. 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 We propaganda. say no more. I'm the guy that originally wrote the assault weapons. The assault band weapons ban didn't save that, anybody. Uh, came Gun crime was still up to me in his picture line. He says, "I have an AR-15." No, he didn't. And I will turn this. This in. didn't happen. It means saving the lives of our kids. It didn't happen. Hell yes, we're gonna take your AR-15, your mm, AK-47. You're, you're not gonna allow it to be used against our fellow Americans. Drop that, bitch. Think Trump um, is oh, look, responsible you for out what too, happened? Bitch. And I said, "Well, look. I mean, obviously he didn't pull the trigger, but he's certainly been tweeting out the ammunition." Weed. When you I say you're smoking it, incredibly sad, and it's very Shut hard up. to think about this. Um, <clears throat> you're a funny I'm actor. Tired of hearing people all they have to offer is for Bitch, you grew up prayers. in a white neighborhood. In my faith, faith, people say faith without works is dead. So we will find a way, but the reason Where's we your have boyfriend a at, bro? right now is we Where's your boyfriend the, at? the corporate gun lobby frame this debate. It is time that Tyrant. we have bold actions and a bold agenda. Over 90% of the American people think we have to get assault weapons on Not true. That is Period. not true. We have to get that is not true. I guarantee you 90% of the population want gun control. Weapon ban. Everyone up here favors magazine limitations. Facts. Yeah, you're right. All the Democratic candidates we can want ban to confiscate the weapons your guns. It's about ending the sales of assault weapons into our communities. Defensive weapons. Those weapons of war were designed to kill people as weapons. effectively and as efficiently as possible. They should belong on the battlefield and not in our communities. Bullshit. But I also believe that a lot of gun owners would agree that Clutch your pearls, right? weapons belong in the hands of soldiers, not in the hands of criminals. By the way, you can't own the following weapons, period. They cannot be sold anymore. Like, if you're going to take people's guns away, wait till you get elected, speaking then facts, take right? the guns away. <laughs> Don't tell them ahead of time. Which, by the way, that's what, that's what people like me think you're going to do.